What is up my fellow Devakins? Today I'm going to show you how to extract the vocals from an instrumental and have an almost clean vocals, probably about 99%. You can even go 100% if you use the last trick but this is a dependent one because this can mess up the audio. But anyway, let's forget that right now, we'll work on that soon enough and let's just get into it. So first you want to drag your instrumental and the original into Audacity. And then we're going to zoom in and we're going to drag one of these backwards. So I'll probably grab the instrumental which I have up at the top here. Maybe drag it forward actually. So we want to match these up. So I'm going to move to about here. And then use my drag here. And just bring this back. And this requires a lot of refining to get right. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. But if you do get it right, and like have every little point perfect, this is going to come out great. So make sure those points are on. And then we want to zoom in so we can see like the individual points like this. So we can zoom in some more. And the important part here is making sure that these points right here, as each one moves, is dead on. So let's find an area where it's easier to figure out this point. Which I think a good area would be one where they're almost the same. Like here. So I think they're about on point, maybe. I'm not sure. It's hard to do it sometimes because, well, obviously you're working in like two separate things. You can even move this upwards a bit and mess about with that. The more refined you have that, the better the result is going to come out in the end. So now what you want to do, is because when you move back to the start, you're going to have an open space. Zoom back out, and then select this tool, and you want to get this yellow bar up, and drag all the way to the start. But you want to do this on the second one. So once you've done that, you can just select that and hit delete. And that brings that back to the start. Now I can grab this one, and bring that all the way back to the start. So now they should be perfectly matched up. Now you can zoom all the way out. And you're going to solo your instrumental. And then save file, save as. Or export as a wave. And then you're going to save this as instrumental. Dot wave. So that's the instrumental. And that's all fine. That's all good. Save that. Then you're going to solo the next track, which is the original. And then you're also going to file export as WAV. And you're going to export this as original.wav. And then save that. And then that's OK. Now once you've done that, you're going to go into uh, you to go and then you can bring these into here. So we're going to load the first one. The first we're going to load is our original. And then the second one we're going to load up our instrumental. And then check the settings. And this should be like this. Just set that to the max. Make sure these things are ticked and you're good. And then press OK. Now if you press this green button, it's going to like multiplex it, do some stuff. Get rid of the instrumental and leave the vocals, but we can rename it here. So I'm going to rename it um, Final. Even though it's technically not the final, but that's fine. And then hit that. Now it's going to take some time and uh, start like generating the song. So I'll come back in a minute. And now that it's finished, we can go back into that folder that we have with this song in. And inside of this folder, we're obviously going to start playing this thing so that we can hear it back. I don't like your T-Series. Nothing personal, kid. But I must go all out. Just this once. 
Bob's or Vagan, whichever will it be. Set the fuck down, TZ Reese. I'm here to spill the real tea. You're trying to dethrone me for spot on number one, but you. So now you notice how it's almost clean. Next, the final step in this, well, technically not the final, but it depends on how you're going to do this. We're going to go to a website here called phonicmind.com. And on here, you're obviously going to, you can press try it now, and you can create an account and all that stuff. So we're going to try it now, obviously, and we're going to drag this thing into there. So just drag that in. And then it's going to upload it. And it's going to do some stuff. A little bit extra. Remove the instrumental and keep those vocals in. And if you pay for this, you can get the full song done. Uh, I think it's about $3.99 for one song. And then there's loads of other prices for other songs. I think you can get about 11 songs for about $30, if I'm correct. Or it was 19 it was something like that. But if you go through the website, you're obviously going to see the prices. And that'll all come up, and you can do the full song. Now it's finished uploading, and it's going to give me estimated waiting time. And then it's going to prepare my song, and the song will pop up. And it's going to have no instrumental in there. Well, probably almost none. Because you can't always fully get rid of the instrumental. Now it's finished, so let's play it back and hear the vocals. So we have a preview of three things. We've got the original, the karaoke, which is the instrumental, and then we've got the vocals. So let's preview our vocals. I review you. Zero by Bish gone. So come on, T series. Looking hungry for some drama. Here, let me serve you bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. T series ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. So you notice how that's almost clean. Now, one extra step you can do with these vocals is come inside of Adobe Audition. And inside of Adobe Audition, there's some tricks you can do to finalize those vocals and remove the extra instrumental that is left. Now I wouldn't suggest doing this in most cases because it kind of destroys the vocals a bit but it depends on your song so you can do this as an extra step if you want to but obviously you would have to pay for this thing first to get the full song so let's run over that. If you go choose a bundle you get up your prices. So we have one song $3.99 the basic bundle 5 songs $11.99 then 10 songs $9.99 and then 20 songs $29.99 so now I'm back to this site here where I can obviously download my vocals, my instrumental or my original so I'm going to download my vocals as an mp3 and there it is downloading now I have it downloaded in my folder so I'm going to go back into audition here and then I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to drag that into it so that's from phonicmind.com so just copy that into there and then that will go in so now we have this full preview I review you Zero by Bish gone. So come on, T series looking hungry for some drama here, let me serve you bitch lasagna so now with this, what we can do is go to this effects rack right here and uh, click on this like arrow on the right and then we're going to bring up stereo imagery center channel extractor and then press ok ignore that alert and then you can select a preset here so I'm going to select acapella which obviously works on vocals and in this what it's going to do is remove all that extra instrumental and just really bring in those vocals a bit more but as I said in some songs, it might remove a bit of the vocals, depending on how the song is built. I review you. Zero by Bish gone. So come on, T series. Looking hungry for some drama. Here, let me serve you your bitch lasagna. Bitch. And then once you're done with this, you can press this X to exit the window. And then what you can do is hit apply for these effects. The wait for that to apply, obviously, which is going to be very quick because I've only applied one effect. And then I can, with this final effect, like done, press file, export, file, or you can save as, which also works. And then it brings up this window where you can select what you want to export as. 
And that's basically the whole process of turning in like an original song that has the acapella over the top using an instrumental into an acapella itself. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff if you want. I am out. Until the next video. Peace.